Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen, your beloved big man here, and welcome back to the Leech No server. How are you guys doing? I hope you're doing great. I know I am in. A, I'm in a super mood today, even though I made a big mistake today, guys. I'm so super sad about it. I was such an idiot. I managed to fill gasoline on my diesel car. Face palm, look down in the ground, walking shame like this because I am feeling super, super idiot by this. But anyway, <laughs> let's just move away from that for a second. Have some fun with Minecraft, shall we, please? Welcome back, guys. I hope you guys are enjoying this series so far. I am really enjoying it. We are approaching 60 episodes this season. That's amazing. I've been doing a lot of like base planning and planning in the, for the future of this season here. In between the episodes here. I hope you guys enjoyed the Christmas decoration. Kind of an unserious episode just together with Russian Afterman. I had a lot of fun. Uh, so what I've done is I've marked out with these cobblestones right here. All the way like from uh, this water here. And then all the way around here. And this will be where I want to build like a city wall. With some gates and stuff. Kind of to protect my area here and also because uh, will is not funny it's going to build a town himself over there so i want to separate up a little bit from him and perhaps have some like some you know open fields and stuff between my castle or my town here and his area right there which will be like on top of that mountain so i'll build a small wall here in the future that will come in a couple of episodes, I think. I haven't really been planning that far ahead and set the dates for everything. But in the future, there will be a big, big wall going here. But something I also talked a little bit about in the last episode is that I found a slime chunk near my base here. And that's what I marked out here. From this column of cobblestone to uh, this one here. And to this one here. And to this one here. And over again. Like in this square here. This is a slime chunk and I've always wanted to have a slime chunk because I really like to have a lot of slimes for uh, redstone circuits, you know, slime, slimy pistons or sticky pistons and slime balls and slime launchers and all that jazz. But to do this, um, uh, this area here, you would have to do some massive digging because you have to dig all the way down to bedrock and stuff like that. And this is 16 by 16, which uh, is about 256. And we are like at level 70 right now. So 70 times 256 is like 7, 000, no, 17,900 approximately. And I'm not going to do that. I know uh, way <laughs> worse. A way that is much faster and way more amusing. Like this. That's how I want to hollow this area out for my future slime farm. But I don't have any more TNT and I'm really low on gunpowder. So that will be in a future episode. Because in today's episode we are going to prepare ourselves. Can you see that stuff up there? That is going to be our future mob drop. I've been working a little bit off camera. And that is what we are going to do in today's episode. So buckle up guys, get something tasty to drink, some good beverages and stuff like that, because we are going to have a really funny episode together. We're going to build a very cool and automatic uh, mob drop system, where we'll get a lot of gunpowder, lots of bones. I already have tons of bones though, but a lot of bones, a lot of string, a lot of gunpowder and all the jazz, so I am really looking forward to it. I think it would be great fun. I have never done this in this scale before, and it's been a while since I even done like a basic uh, mob drop system. So I am really looking forward to it. So let's play some music and start some building.
quickly should mention how this farm is working. It's a very simple design and it's based off Mambo Jumbo's extremely efficient mob farm. I have added a little bit uh, just so I could um, use the resources I had uh, nearby and uh, the resources I had a lot of. And also to make it, uh, you know, like the size I wanted to have it. So first off, you might notice that we are in the ocean right here. We are only ocean around us. You can see some land, but mostly ocean. And that is because uh, mobs, which like the mobs we want to have here are the hostile mobs. And they cannot spawn in water. So that makes all this area around here inspawnable. Also, it's high up in the air. So uh, once we have like an AFK spot. Uh, even above this area here, we will be so far above the ground that we will not load any of the caves uh, down like under the ocean here. So that uh, there will be no, no mobs spawning right there. There will be no spawning of mobs around the farm basically. And that makes it so all the mobs that are spawning, as long as we are the only one on the server, will spawn inside our farm. So that's how like the spawning area and the position of the farm is working. The farm is really simple. All of these wooden areas here where we have some spruce planks, there will be a dispenser with a bucket of water in it. So it will shoot out water on timing, uh, which will uh, all of the mobs standing here. There's me, by the way. Hello, Vigo. <laughs> all the mobs standing here will be pushed into here and then fall down and land on these hoppers here. And all their loot will be collected in this chest right here. Super cool. And it's very simple, just adding a small redstone clock and having go on turns uh, opposite sides of each other, I think, is the best way to get it the most efficient. And we'll stack it up, uh, let's say, three or four times more. So you have it like a decent height on it. And then the mods will just like be dropping insanity here. We can stay here for AFK over the night. We should be all good and just have tons and tons of gunpowder and be ready to explode our way to a slime farm. So we are now inside the farm here, and we are ready to do some redstoning here to make this farm work properly. It's nothing too complicated, but there is a little bit of redstone we have to do here. So the first thing we need to do is just remove all of this bottom uh, spruce pillars here. These are just indicators for where we want to put dispensers. Oh crap, well, I guess I don't need them anymore then. <laughs> I just dropped the ender pearls. So I have three layers here. We have one, two, and three layers. I think that should give us more than enough spawns for a farm like this, but I don't know. We might have to expand it in, like, just add another layer or two or three, whatever, as many as we need to get uh, the decent drops as we want. That's the reason why I built the farm this way, is that we can always just add a whole bunch of new layers without being making it too expensive. Because the most expensive part is down there, which is on the time lapse. There are a lot of hoppers down there, and all of those use a lot of iron. There's five iron in each hopper to make or to make one hopper, and here's like yeah, a whole bunch of. 75 hoppers or something so that's a whole bunch actually so right now i'm poor guys i am actually really poor on iron at the moment which really sucks honestly it really sucks to be low on iron and stuff like that but uh, we need to do this once we get this farm here done i'll go speed mining a little bit uh, get some iron back and we'll have so much loot from this so it will just be fun i think that's what makes Minecraft, uh, like the way I played, so enjoyable is that you um, you gather up massive amounts of resources 
and then you use them one single like project and that project gives you even more supplies and resources so you can go crazy you can go mad on your next project to get even more resources and stuff like that um let's take this farm here for an example i use a whole bunch of of uh, stuff and things iron and redstone wise and stuff like that to make this farm work properly but once it's working i will not have to worry about getting bones or getting uh, well, what kind of loots do we got? What kind of drops is there from a farm like this? Uh, bones, rotten flesh. Well, I guess I had enough of rotten flesh from the gold farm. Uh, which is not a good example, actually, of what I'm talking about. We'll have bones, gunpowder, uh, strings. Strings is really cool to have a lot of. And stuff like that. And when we have a lot of gunpowder, we can go ahead and build a big slime farm. And, yeah, you know, it's kind of like this rolling ball. Once you start getting one of the things done, you can never stop. You just have massive amount of resources but now i have to do a bunch of redstone like wiring and stuff behind here before i actually um uh, start putting in water here and this farm is ready to go so i guess the redstone is should be complete right now if you stand in here we can hear the dispensers going off very like very often actually yeah just listen to that guys I'm super excited so basically we have just a very simple hopper clock right here uh, with the uh, 20 items in it so it's going off really frequently then we have two like mono stable circuits here just so we get one single output each time to make it even more frequent I think that's why I did uh, something like that uh, as you know I'm kind of going off tutorial but doing some tweaks and stuff for myself here then we have a redstone torch tower going up and then just basically wiring it up on either side and with using this redstone torch tower here we have uh, made it so that um, can I try to explain that this level here and the top level or platform are going off at the same time and the middle one is going off whenever these are not going off so they kind of uh, switches a little bit so that we always have free space for mobs to spawn on but also we are getting rid of mobs as soon as they kind of spawn to make it as efficient as possible. So this combined with us being over water and, and nothing else they can spawn on should make this farm really freaking efficient in the end. But what we have to do now is first to just um, disable the machine here a little bit because... Um, I'm not keen on getting drowned and died or killed whatever with my own machine here So what we're gonna do is place a bucket or a bu yeah, bucket of water here, water bucket in Each and single one this will be freaking annoying to do But in every single of these dispensers and then we'll activate it again We'll activate the redstone clock or connect it up and basically it will just start working and all we have to do is just get a little bit more up in the air. I want to get about 120 blocks away or perhaps just 100 blocks away from this platform down here. Just so we get far enough away from everything else. But do not unload this area right here. And then just stand AFK for hours and see how much loot we can get. Now it's time for us to see the farm in action. You can see the mobs just falling down here. I'm on my secondary account now in like a spectator mode. So I won't affect the farm in any way. But far up there, Vigo Man is standing. Good old Vigo Man. And we are now able to just fly through the blocks and look at how this works. And look at the spawn rates, guys. This is freaking amazing. You can see them just falling down. All of them just dying. <laughs> falling like flies. This is awesome. I was never expecting it to be this efficient. This constantly. Ah! Words today! Uh, they are constantly. That's the word I'm looking for. Constantly falling. Well, right now, they're not really. But I guess once the farm like starts working again, uh, maybe I'll have to do some timing stuff here to get it more efficient. But look at spawn rates. This is amazing. Let's check out the loot here. I think I'll be able to open this chest. Yeah, I am. Look, you can just see them thicking in. That is awesome. I am super stoked. But right now, it's looking super derpy. It's not looking too great. And that's something we'll have to um, perhaps work on a little bit in a future stage. To get this farm looking all snazzy and stuff. 
Well guys, that is all I got time for today. So if you enjoyed, be sure to smack that like button to show your support to me. I'll be able to stay AFK for a whole bunch of hours here until next episode. So if you enjoyed, um, be sure to check out the next episode, which we might even just continue working on this farm, making it look a little bit prettier. Perhaps uh, make uh, a nether portal over here and make some kind of uh, bulk storage facility down in the bottom here to collect up all the goodies we get. So that is something I'm looking forward to. Hope you guys are excited. Let's see. We are getting more and more stuff right here. So that is super cool. This farm is officially open. It's officially working like a champ. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I really do hope you enjoyed. If so, make sure to smack that like button. And if you haven't done already, make sure to subscribe and all that stuff. And I will see you guys later. It has been Vigo Man.